Welcome to module 11 in our series on artificial intelligence. This module compares two optimization methods relevant to machine learning, batch, and stochastic gradient descent. You may remember that the last module provided an Excel spreadsheet, a simulation file that demonstrated how we could implement our step-by-step -step backpropagation process and couple that with stochastic gradient descent. We employed a pretty basic image recognition example where we were essentially tasked with trying to identify handwritten zeros and ones. So what I've done is I've provided links to that same simulation file again it's available in two places, Dropbox and Google Drive. Here we have a screenshot of the updated Excel spreadsheet that implements batch gradient descent. And the structure of this one is pretty similar to the previous. However, I can talk about some important differences. For stochastic gradient descent, for that spreadsheet, what we saw was that every row corresponded to a new iteration. So we have 10 rows, we have 10 iterations. For this spreadsheet, for batch gradient descent, we see that the iteration number increments only every 10th row. Now, similarly, for stochastic gradient descent, we saw the synapse weights, the parameters, were similarly updated every row, corresponding to a new iteration for every row. For this spreadsheet, for batch gradient descent, we see that the synapse weights are updated only every tenth row, and they stay static for rows one through nine of every iteration. Now, what's the reason for this? Stochastic gradient descent employs only a single sample, single randomly chosen sample from the training data set in order to calculate a single set of gradients and update our synapse weights. For batch gradient descent, however, we need 10 rows because we need to calculate 10 sets of gradients, which we then average and use to update our synapse weights. So each group of 10 corresponds to a single iteration and provides the 10 sets of gradients that we ultimately employ to make our updates. This page compares simulation results yielded by stochastic as well as batch gradient descent by the two spreadsheets that we just discussed a second ago. We can make several observations here. One comes from the two graphs in the bottom half of the screen. If we compare the trajectory of mean squared error loss versus iteration number for stochastic as well as batch gradient descent, what we see on the left hand side is that this trajectory for stochastic gradient descent is more noisy, is more jagged, and potentially less stable. Whereas on the right hand side, we, we see a much smoother trajectory which leads us to believe that this may be a more stable convergence characteristic. And it's this stability that allows us to use a relatively larger learning rate of 10. The second observation we can make is with regard to the number of iterations required for convergence. The batch gradient descent requires only 25 iterations, whereas the stochastic gradient descent requires 100 iterations. However, there's one thing to keep in mind here is that each iteration of the batch gradient descent requires more calculations, is more computationally complex, because we need to evaluate and take the average of 10 training data samples as compared to one over here. 